Azul, azul. Y'all, this makeup look though, I ain't gonna do too much talking. Let's just jump right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jamise McPherson and thank you for coming back to another video. Girl, what is a tutorial without my under eye patches and my iced coffee? Like where would we be without iced coffee and under eye patches? I'm not really sure the vibe or where we're going with it, but I do have on like this cute orange um, dress and as you guys know it is finally spring um, here in North Carolina the weather is like super weird though so currently the weather today well right now is gonna get up to 71 but it's still like in the 50s and 60s which is weird because I am ready to put my winter clothes up but yeah I really want to do like a orange and like glitter I I don't know I'm just I'm just feeling the vibe I am gonna be using some new products and also some old products. So let's just jump right into the tutorial. So you guys already know before we do anything as far as our eyes, I'm always gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Prep and Prime in the shade two. I, I just feel like there's nothing else better than this that I've tried. So that is why I'm going to continue to use this product. So starting off, I'm just gonna apply that primer or that prep and prime all over my eyelid. I don't even know if they still have these palettes, you guys, but these are like my everyday palettes that I use all the time. So it's this Morphe palette right here and then this one. I'm not sure if you guys can find these, I don't know. Uh, let me know down below in the comments but these are the palettes that i mainly use for my eye looks so i'm gonna go in with these and just play around with like the different orange shades so starting off i'm not no yeah i'm gonna go just straight in with a like deep orange shade and i'm going to just build this orange shade above my crease And then also I'm gonna like drag out that orange shade as well. Now I'm just still just like building up that orange shade going back and forth. And you know, just blending it out. I'm gonna take like this deeper orange shade and focus that in my crease. You guys wanted to know the shades I'm using. I'm honestly just going back and forth between this orange shade and this one. These are the only two orange shades I'm using in this um, palette. Go in with this Morphe palette right here. I'm gonna pick up this like lighter orange shade to just blend out everything so everything looks very seamlessly. And I'm just going to smoke it on out. Grab some of this red shade. I don't know why, don't ask me. I just, for some reason, I'm just feeling a red shade. So, and I'm actually gonna get a little closer to my eye when I do this. Simply because like my mirror is kind of far back. I need to be up a little closer so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna focus this red shade like only above my crease, like only up in like this little fold area. Oh yeah, I like how that looks. Now, <clears throat> I don't know y'all, I think I wanna add just like a little bit of like a brown shade. So I'm gonna go in with like this brown shade and just focus this on the outer area of my eye. I'm gonna take this MAC Prep and Prime and just like a flat top eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to spray my brush with this. 
before I pick up the glitter. To be honest, Shimmering Sand, which is right here, this one looks really pretty. So I think I'm gonna go on with this shade right here and just pack it on my eyelid. I'm going to just blend out the edges so everything, you know, just blends out seamlessly. And as you can see, I feel like some of my orange shade disappeared. So I'm gonna go back in with my orange eyeshadow and just like place it, you know, where it needs to be. Excuse me. All right, our eyes are all complete. I'm gonna go in with, Lancome actually sent me some goodies. They sent me over their liner, syrup, brown, and matte. I actually have this one in black and I absolutely love this liner. So I'm gonna use this brown one to line my eyes. Brown liner is on. I'm gonna take some brown shadow and just smoke that out. And of course, taking my highly rated anti-gravity mascara um, by Milani. I absolutely love this mascara. It is my favorite right now. And she is very like intense. And babes, I don't have much of a lash, but when I put this mascara on, you can't tell me nothing. Take our under eye patches off. Under eye patches are off. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like taking off my under eye patches just feels so refreshing. Now it's time to prep the skin. I have been using this Lancome Anti-Aging High Performance Cream. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure I should only be using this at night, I think, but it's been having my makeup look really good. So girl, I've been applying this every time I do my makeup and only apply a little bit because she's a little pricey, but she's worth it. Always make sure you wear your sunscreen. I'm using my Supergroup Mineral Matte Sunscreen. Um, I just always wear sunscreen, so you probably should too. To prime my face, you guys know my Holy Grail, my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. It's so good. If you guys have any um, recommendations for any other primers, please let me know down below in the comments. Cause I'm all for trying new things, but I just have this habit like, when I find things that are good and they work, I just wanna always use that product. So let me know down below in the comments. And as you can see, I'm literally just patting this primer into my face. I'm not like rubbing it in, I'm not like, you know, going crazy. I'm just patting it into my skin. Like you guys hear that. I don't know if you guys can see, but I had a pimple on my face. I popped it, which is right here. And now I am missing the color of my skin right there. So being that that is, and I still have, you know, some dark spots that girl don't wanna leave. Um, we, can, we, can, we can fix that, okay? I'm gonna use this NYX Pro Fix Stick Concealer. This is in the shade Coco. I've been loving to use this lately. So I literally just cover up everywhere that has like a little dark mark that I don't want peeking through my foundation throughout the day. And something that a lot of people probably won't agree with when it comes to like this product I'm pretty positive you should blend it out but I don't I do not blend out this product at all I don't know why I just don't <laughs> now I will blend it out under my eyes but 
as far as like on my face I just don't so yeah so like I said for under my eyes I do like to blend this out just a little bit and again I'm just patting this in I'm not like I'm not trying to rub I'm just really trying to focus this concealer directly under my eye you know with the most coverage as possible and you guys see how it just like you know looks like my skin perfect now ever since I created that last video of products that like I've never used before I have been obsessed with the thread beauty complexion stick you guys this is so good like I have used it every single day literally so I'm just gonna take I always do the three swipes on this side two down here and three on this side above my mouth my nose that's it now I also have been mixing it with the NARS um, just I really want like a super duper duper matte full coverage look but with my NARS I don't use a lot at all like not even a lot I just take like a little bit like that like that much mm, do a little more that's it favorite brush right now to blend out my foundation is this Milani brush and I am obsessed this is the f220 brush and it's just like super dense like it just gives you a really good full coverage and again when it comes to your foundation you guys you you're not you don't want to wipe okay because when you wipe you're basically taking the product away always just pat it in even if it takes you longer to blend it out at least you know that you're gonna get the most coverage that you can and literally that's all I do I just pat my foundation into my skin but just look at that coverage so far like you cannot tell me that coverage is not insane like that's crazy time I am blending out my foundation I never bring it up under my eye I just like there's no point because that's what concealer is for so I don't really bring it up you know into my eye just like the sides that's about it coverage though okay I used this concealer before this is the NYX can't stop won't stop concealer I'm using the shade warm honey mm, do I feel like I could have went lighter yes but like I said girl it's gonna all come together so you guys already know the deal I'm gonna put this concealer on my chin keep its bow bridge of nose and then under my eye, but you guys know I do not bring my first concealer shade all the way up because I'm gonna put a lighter concealer on top. I am going to bring this concealer on the sides of my eyes. Just to give like appearance of a more like lifted look. Some people are gonna say like this is too much concealer, but that's probably why your makeup is not looking the way it's looking, because you're not applying enough makeup. I don't know, y'all. Just like when it comes to makeup, like why are we not using the makeup? Like, isn't that what makeup's for? I'm just saying. Go in with my Thread Beauty Concealer in the shade Tan Golden. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to put this right in the corners. I'm going to go in with this Milani Cream Bronzer. I've been obsessed with this stuff, you guys. I'm in the shade 130 Spicy Season Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. And I'm just going to just do my nose contour. But I'm not going to bring it all the way down. Just like halfway. Ooh, that's it. Sealer, you guys already know I'm using my Real Technique setting brush. This is in the number 402. And I'm going to blend out my chin first. I'm surprised I've never used like the NYX K 
can't stop, won't stop concealer. I do want to try their foundation, but I just have a hard time finding my shade. I don't know why, but yeah. We've used the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation and we're like the same shade complexion. Let me know what shade you use because I want to try that because I heard it's really, really, really good. When it comes to the concealer on the sides of my eyes, I like to personally blend that out with a sponge. Oh. I have to climb. Sorry, girl. Call you back in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to just blend out the corners with a sponge. I'm go in and blend out that NYX concealer first and then go in and blend out the thread beauty concealer now whenever I'm blending out my concealer with brushes it is gonna look super messy right but that's why I go in with a beauty sponge after to like really blend everything out. Let's just blend out our nose. And then blending out our nose contour. Everything with a damp beauty sponge. So starting off with my chin. And if something looks too harsh, always just take the butt of your beauty sponge and just blend it out. Or you can also just take, you know, your foundation brush and just blend out the corners if it's looking a little bit too crazy. I'm gonna be setting and baking today. I am using a product that I have not used before. I will be using the Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 330. I have never used this, but all the girlies have been raving about it on TikTok, girl, so you know I had to go get it. Now, before we go in and set, I am just gonna press my concealer in one more good time, just because I don't wanna set any like creases, and I just wanna make sure everything is blended out under the eye. Ooh. Um. Taking my famous pink powder puff and just picking up that powder. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Actually, no. We're just gonna pack it on here and press it in. So this is one side with the powder. This is one side without. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't. Um, do I feel like I probably should have got a brighter shade? Maybe? Cause I feel like it's kind of getting ashy. But that could be just me. What do you guys think? I don't know. I mean, no, she doesn't look bad. She doesn't look bad at all. And to actually bake, I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty and Banana Bread. I've been loving this shade lately and I cannot stop using it. But yeah, what do you guys think? This is the Maybelline powder. Would I use it by itself? No. I would definitely use it to set first and then I will go in with a powder and bake. So, I'm just gonna pick up my Huda Beauty. Put it on the chin, under the eye. I don't know why, I feel like whenever I apply like um, my powder, I just apply it so messily. Like is that even a word, messily? Like I apply my powder so messy, that's the word. Cause like look at me, be for real right now. But I mean, hey, 
my makeup still comes out pretty good well it does come out good and plus I have oily skin so I gotta make sure you know I gotta make sure I'm good now to contour my face and my nose you guys already know this is discontinued this is the morphe mega bronzer I think um no glam bronzer something y'all is this continue but it's so good so i'm sorry again if you can't get your hands on this definitely try black radiance charlotte tilbury um or juvia's place they have really good bronzers so i'm just going to clean up well snatch up my nose like so and my nose contour does look a little crazy, girl, but we're going to fix it. We are going to fix it. I take that Huda Beauty powder and clean up the sides of my nose. Now let's snatch up this face. And I love this shade. It's like the perfect shade. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Who is she? Now I'm just taking an e.l.f. highlighter brush. And I'm just going to basically just sweep away that powder. Now my face looks very powdery. I'm aware, I look crazy. That's why I'm gonna go in and spray my face with my Makeup Revolution Super, my Makeup Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. I'm gonna drench my whole face in this literally. So I like to spray it first just to make sure, you know, the applicator is working. And then I kind of just come back a little bit and I just. This blush palette, there's like an orange, like a pretty orange shade. So I'm going to just pick up that orange shade and then pick up a little bit of that, you know, deeper shade. Mm. That blush gonna do it every time. Now I'm not gonna lie, just by looking at my face, right? And using that powder I do think I probably should have used a lighter shade because it does it kind of looks a little ashy but I think we can fix that so we should be we should be fine I'm gonna see if I can fix it and then give you guys like my final review on that okay, my lashes are on now it's time for our lip combo I've been loving this new lip combo. So I'm using the Huda Beauty um, Lip Contour in the shade Rich Brown. For my lip gloss, I've been loving this Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss in the shade Power of Nude. So pretty. Like, ugh, such a pretty nude. Now I am going to do my nose highlight. You guys already know I've had this Artist Couture Powder for maybe 10 years. I'm sure it's been 10 years. Um, I mean, there's it's still a lot in here, so I'm still gonna use it until you know I can't use it anymore. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of these and a little shimmer to the nose. But not least, I am gonna take my Fenty um, Soft Matte Powder Foundation and just set all the areas that I um, put concealer.
All right, guys, this is the final look. I am obsessed. And you guys know how I am when it comes to glitter, but this is just such a really pretty, pretty look. I, I am in love. I look so pretty. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.